hi you guys welcome back to my channel your girl just got her another silk press y'all my hair has been so healthy ever since i've been starting to take care of it more but welcome back to the channel if you are new my name is rashay lucky i make lifestyle content faith based i'm a a follower of Jesus Christ so if you don't like talking about God this probably is not the place for you but you can stay and maybe you might change <laughs> no I'm just kidding but so um as you can see by the title we are doing something new um I just had too many revelations lately um I don't even know if that's the word I'm looking for but just a lot of things need to change and I've been neglecting um just kind of not me as a person when it comes to like physical and things like that but just like my inner and there's a lot of things that i want to you know change and get better on but um so we're gonna make it into a series i guess but i just got to a coffee shop i just got my hair done um and this place is called stir coffee it looks really nice um i have some things i want to get done and i have some time to myself which i love one thing about me is i love time to myself y'all see my little dimple <laughs> I'm trying out a new coffee shop and we're gonna see how we like this so let's go in I'm hungry but I'm just gonna sit here because I have some stuff that I want to get done so I was like sometimes it's better being outside of the house and getting stuff done so that's what we're gonna do and it looks like it's about to rain and silk press and rain does not go good together so let me go inside Okay, I am leaving the coffee shop. Y'all, I absolutely freaking love that coffee shop. Um, I definitely will be back. It's just such a vibe if you wanna like do work and it's so chill, everybody's so sweet. And that everything bagel was literally freaking bussing. Um, I did a lot of stuff in there. Um, and there was some, there's been something that like I've been needing to do for a really long time and that was like, start therapy i've tried it before i haven't had like the best best experiences but i think sometimes you need to realize that you need it for yourself in order to get the most out of it and i think it's just one of those things so i did reach out to a therapist and you know like i'm not scared to say that like if you feel like you need help like get the help that you need and it's I just feel like there's some things that i might need to work through and like talk to somebody for just you know i want to be a better person um and there's a lot of flaws that i have that i need to talk with someone and just like you know fix especially like if i plan on you know taking my life to the next level and not being so stagnant also there's a book that i'm reading it's called when faith disappoints i've literally only read one chapter so far but it is so good that just that one chapter like i want to keep reading i haven't had the time to like sit down and continue but i definitely encourage y'all to look into this book so jackie perry and her husband did a podcast with lisa fields and lisa fields was the lady they interviewed and they were talking about something that was kind of like something that i you know i struggle with sometimes like i wrestle with christianity wanting it to be the way that i want it to be and wanting god to navigate how i want him to navigate but that's not how it is and that's really that's a really hard battle to fight when you feel like god should do something for you just because he's god um and i think this book is um helpful in that area so yeah, I'm reading this book so far. Yo, let me show y'all my bookmark, hold on. 
So my bookmark says she believed she could, but she was really tired, so she didn't. That's, that's literally me because if I'm tired, oh, and I'm not stopping no, I'm not stopping no rest for nobody. But y'all, that's pretty much it for that. Um. Oh yeah. So um, hopefully you know that I find the right therapist for me. That's in the work. Also, um. I think one thing, another thing that I've been struggling with as a young adult that I'm working on as well is just kind of finding a career for myself and taking the steps to get into a career. It's not that I haven't purposely. So, you know, I went to college. I have a bachelor's in health administration. And um, I don't know, just nothing in that um, field really interests me at this particular moment. If I'm able to use it in the future, absolutely. But I did find something else that sparked my interest. And I'm just kind of taking steps in and trying to navigate and get into something that is going to be very challenging. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. I just kind of like want like a clear answer before I start saying this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. So yeah, my bad for talking y'all's head off. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to go do next, but I'll pick you guys up when I can. I just made it to the outlets. I got my umbrella just in case it rains. I only came here so that I can go to pink. Victoria's Secret. I think they're having a sale and I just want to see what they have. Y'all, I had all of my, this is TMI, but I had all of my like underwear and stuff for years and years ago. Y'all, I threw all of them away. Let's go and see what we can find because you got to catch them while they're on sale literally or you're not getting anything because everything gonna be $800 million. <laughs> Oh, yep. They are having the sale. <laughs> Hello. Y'all see how we got what we needed? Went in, came out. We got the package. I'm so excited. See, when you say you're going to go to the store for something, and you go to the store for that one thing, and you just leave, it gives very cutesy, very demure, okay? I'm so happy. <laughs> But let's go. Let's go. Y'all, Chloe Yasmin uploaded another vlog. I love when she uploads a vlog. I don't know if y'all watch her, but she is so much fun to watch. Um, and she's having her baby, so I'm super excited to like tune in. But I'm about to go probably just like binge like her vlog. And I'm so excited to do that. I'm finally back home. Today has been long. I've been out all day. It is currently 9.07. Um, I'm about to take me a shower and read my Bible. So right now what I'm doing for October, I saw this girl on TikTok. There was an idea she had. Um, and it's 31 days in October. So she's reading a chapter a day of Proverbs for um october and i feel like i've read all the proverbs for some reason but i'm not i've read a good bit of proverbs but sometimes it's good for like a refresher so for all this month i've just been reading proverbs so today is the fifth so i'm on chapter five of proverbs that i'm gonna read um yeah today was a good day got me some <laughs> I, one thing I love is shopping, but one thing I always do is everything my mama raised me right when it comes to finances. Like, everything is always taken care of before I start to get to treating myself. So, I'm never, you gotta be sure to make sure you're never just out treating yourself if there's things you have to take care of that you've been like, that you know like for a fact need to be taken care of. So, it feels good when you treat yourself, but you have everything that you need to be taken care of, taken care of. So, just... Make sure you guys are being smart with your money and stuff like that because God sees how you navigate the finances and what you do with what he gives to you. You know, make sure you're paying your tithes, 10% of your earnings. I do make sure that I pay my tithes. Um, I, never, I, I used to not actually pay my tithes for a really long time. I just started um, when I started going back to church last year. But even when I started, I was doing it like whenever kind of I wanted to. Um, and I was also struggling um, financially at the time too, but I make sure that I pay my tithes now and pay my bills and then I'll treat myself. You know, I make sure to keep up with myself 
the best I can um, with the money that I have. And, you know, make sure you're, what is this? Make sure you're saving your money as well. But I think I've definitely talked y'all's head off enough for today. Um, but yeah, basically, we're just trying to like level up. We're trying to be in a new wave. You can't stay the same and expect different results out of life. Hi, baby. You want to play with the way, y'all. But yeah, good night. I will see you guys when I pick back up the camera. Bye. What's up, y'all? It is Sunday. It is the next day. I do have a shirt on, but all I did today was I went to church. Um, and I came home and I was just like vibing after that. But I we're about to go into Starbucks date. You and I ignore up here because like. It was all chafing, I think that's the word, from when I got a cold. All right, so we're, you and I, we're going to go on a date. We are going to go on a date to Starbucks. So, pull on your seatbelt and let's ride, let's ride, let's ride. Okay, so I'm pulling into Starbucks and the drive through is closed. So we're gonna go in, I guess. Um, I'm not presentable to go in there, but um, let me see. It doesn't look that bad, so we'll go ahead and go in there. Yeah, I'll go in there. Well, let me find a good parking spot actually first. Not right here. Let me back up. I guess we'll go in there. Okay, I'll be back. All right, we got our Starbucks. So I got me a sandwich. And let me make sure y'all can see I got a shirt on. Got me a sandwich and I got me my iced matcha latte. The Starbucks order I do. Oat milk half. I don't know what that is. I hope there's no regular milk in here, but I get a grande iced matcha latte with vanilla syrup and oat milk. I'm an oat milk girly through and through, honey. Mmm. And I treated myself to the sandwich. Y'all know I've been kind of I haven't been strictly vegan um these days but i've been trying to try different things i don't think i can get back into the chicken for real but we're thinking for this food we're about to see when christine will bring him in i get the tomato and mozzarella sandwich i haven't had this in over a year y'all like it is crazy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. literally everything i remember everything i remember literally I said we was going out of date. So, hmm. it's only right. So, lately, I don't know, y'all know that strong feeling like where you know you need to kind of isolate and um i've been i've been feeling like i need to isolate not away from like family and friends type isolate but like really like lock in type isolate like get with the program type isolate and stay off social media type isolate um and just really focus and like there's a lot of things i want and there's a lot of things i want to do um and so i really have to like lock in so I'm probably going to be like going ghost a little bit. Not from like YouTube, but like just going ghost, like social media ghost, um, and like out and about like ghost. Um, because I, I really just need to focus. I think it's important for you, especially like if you're on like a healing journey, to really kind of take that time and work towards the things that you want and need.
one thing I do know is nobody gonna go out and get everything for you. Some of the stuff you gotta get for yourself. And that's just at the point of time I'm at now because I'm about to be 27. And I do feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be. I don't feel like I'm not where I'm supposed to be, but I do feel like I do need to focus in on some things. So that's what I'm doing. And I guess you can call that like a season of isolation. I feel led back to a season of isolation and um, just embracing the single season as well because that is important for us as young women not to be walking around like relationships do sound good, but are you really ready to ride or die for someone and put in the work? And I recently realized that I don't feel like I'm at that point to where I can give someone myself and then it wouldn't be smart as well because of things that I'm dealing with in the path that I'm on trying to, the personal path that I'm on with God. So I feel like what works for you is what works for your lifestyle, but I feel like in this season, that's what I need to do in order to get more results that I want for the things that I want and the things that I'm gonna get. Y'all see I put my hair in the ponytail today? The ponytail is ponytailing, period. Y'all, my ponytail has not been as long in forever. It's been like damaged up a little bit too. I said I was gonna start taking my hair and that's what I've been doing. So, Period. Period. Ah, period. Um. Mm. Washing my hands. I'm really wiping crumbs off my hands, but washing my hands with some things at the moment. So I definitely after tonight, I'm probably gonna um, get off my social media and stuff tonight. And by social media, I don't mean TikTok, and I don't me youtube but i do need to spend less time on tiktok because that's part of the problem um so i'm gonna do that but i hope you guys enjoyed the video there'll be more episodes to come on the journey okay <sighs> read your bibles drink your water eat your food the good food for you not not starbucks okay so what do I say? I always, I literally always forget what I say. You don't have to get off YouTube, but baby, you gotta get out of here. Bye.